Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is crashing during compiling status or if the game is crashing after compiling status is done. So if you're facing this problem, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to install this AMD optional update. Now for this, you can just search this optional update in Google. So just type in AMD 25.3.2 optional update and then go to AMD website. Once you go to AMD website, scroll down over here, you can see this optional update. So click on it. And once the download is complete, you can run this exe file and then install it on your computer. And after the installation, restart your computer and then you can launch the game. Now, the next step is to install these files. Now for this, go to the game installation folder, make a right click on the game, select manage. Now click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now over here, you can see this file that is installed PSPC SDK runtime make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and let it complete now once this is done you can launch the game and then check so it's done now now you can press any key to continue to close this and then now you can launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can go to the game installation folder once again over here you can see ps pc sdk runtime installer make a right click and then click on just make a double click over here and do the same thing let the installation complete then launch the game and then check if that does not work then do the same thing with this runtime manager make a double click and then you can in my case the first one is already running so first of all install this once that is complete launch the game and then check if that does not work then try to install this one and then launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game files to verify the game files go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check now the next step is to Add the game to Malwarebytes. If you if you have this Malwarebytes installed on your computer, then you can add the game exe file to this antivirus program. Now, if that does not work, you can even disable Malwarebytes and then you can launch the game. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. And once you're done playing the game, you can always enable Malwarebytes and then you can check if that does not work allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you're using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security in that case open windows settings go to privacy and security in case of windows 11 in windows 10 you will have an option update and security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection and then Now scroll down at the bottom here, you can see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow, and then click on add an allowed app, click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive program file 686. Now open the steam folder. Now open the steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Now open the game folder. So find the game over here. Now once you open the game folder, find the game exe file you have to add all the exe file so you can add this and then click on open and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps and then select this exe file then click on open even add the launcher to the windows security once you add it now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder so it's steam folder and then steam apps folder common folder now open the game folder select all the exe file one by one so you can add the launcher and then click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then select the exe file open add Again, click on allow another app browse and then select the third exe file. Click on open, click on add. Once the game is added over here, now you can 
launch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to launch the game from the first of all launch the launcher from the game installation folder now for this you can make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files and over here you can see the launcher option you can just make a double click on launcher and this will open launcher and then you can launch the game from the launcher and then you can check if that does not work you can do the same thing with the game exe file let me close the launcher you can do the same thing with the exe file you can make a double click over here launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try this exe file and then check so and still not working that in that case you can try to run the game as an administrator so make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work again go to properties and this time put a check on over here and then select windows 8 from the list hit apply click on ok if that does not work again go to properties and this time select windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimizations hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work do the same thing with this with this exe file now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok do the same thing with this exe file and then follow the next step now the next step is to if able to launch the game turn off frame generation turn off nvidia reflex low latency and then turn off dynamic resolution scaling now for this you can launch the launcher first if you are able to launch the launcher now once the launcher is open now click on options over here and over here you can see nvidia reflex low latency if this is on you can turn it off and here you can see frame generation if this is on you can turn it off turn off dynamic resolution scaling and over here you can even try window mode so you can try both full screen exclusive full screen check each one one by one and check which one is working fine for you so you can switch to window mode and make sure that your graphic card is selected over here and then click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to N nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users first of all uninstall the current graphic card installed in computer so uninstall it then restart your computer then go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the latest one latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings now over here you can see add desktop app click on it now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select all these exe select the exe file over here and then click on add once the game is added over here so scroll down and find the game in the list so here you can see the game click on the game and over here you can see gpu preference and set it to high performance and you will see your graphic card over here so select high performance now scroll up again click on add desktop app and then select the second exe file and then click on add again go to the 
find the game in the list. Once you find the game, click on the game. Sorry. Click on the game and then over here again you have to select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here. And now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So open Windows settings, go to Windows update or update in security. Click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here. So install it. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer. Make sure right now the latest version, Windows 11 version is version 2 for H2. So update your Windows to version 2 for H2. That also the latest version and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. So download this x86 and x64, both the file. So click on it and then run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, hit install and then click on yes to allow and download this x64 file as well. And again, if you see the repair option, you have to click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Run it, repair, click on yes. Make sure both the files are installed. So here you can see x86 and x64. Once installed, you can close these boxes then Restart, you can be a restart is a must after this, after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it. If you have any kind of extra controller, like sometimes we have extra controller connected, like if you have a USB dongle connected for the controller, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and go to the general tab. Over here, you can see the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Turn this off. Once you turn this off, now launch the game and then check. If you have any other overlay application, like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have GeForce Experience running or NVIDIA app running. So if you have NVIDIA app running, you can go to NVIDIA app, go to settings and then you can turn off overlay over here and then check if you have any other overlay application any kind of overlay application close it and then check if you have any kind of overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner running you can close this so sometimes it's hidden if you have revert tuner running close the revert tuner so sometimes it's hidden in the taskbar so you can just make a right click on the close option over here for MSI afterburner. If you have revert tuner over here, make a right click, close it. Also, if you have any other overclocking application, close it and then check. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then Click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so one 
16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this Now the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game and reinstall the game to different drives. So you can just manage, make a right click, manage, uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to some external drive like d drive or e drive so try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive in that case you can try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel